Alex Carr, Dr. Fat, with a little show and tell video for you guys today. Um, today's patient is a 08 Dodge Charger. It came in with some overheating issues. As you can see, I'm outside today. My shop is super full. Thank God for that. Um, no complaints there. So I'm just do a little diagnostic work outside today. Um, up on inspection, like I mentioned, this car did overheat on the customer. I think they just bought this vehicle. Um, it looks like the main overheating area was right here. This dried up ash stuff is dried up coolant. And when it dry, when coolant dries up, it leaves this ashy film behind sometimes. Um, it appears that the radiator cap deteriorated a little bit because this, this is the main seal and this is the, yeah, this is the main seal. So how the radiator cap works um, it seals around this portion right here to keep the fluid in. Then when the pressure gets too high, this cap is spring loaded, like at 18 pounds. So this is an 18 pound spring. When the 18 pounds push the spring, it would then go over into the overflow. Still won't go past the cap because you have this right here, this seal. So you have two seals, the main seal, secondary seal. So, when the coolant it goes into the overflow. Let's let this truck go. It's <laughs> noisy out here today. You got the planes going by, semis going by. Let him go on about his business. So, All right. I, I think the main issue was a failed radiator cap, but I'm gonna give a start. With these Hemi engines, you cannot let them overheat. If you do, they'll drop a valve seat. Speaking of valve seat, I'm going to get into that in just a little bit. I have an example to show you. Guys. I'm going to give a start up to see if it has a blown head gasket. Hopefully, we can start it up. It sounds terrible. Oh my God. It does sound terrible. So, if these head gaskets are blown, yeah. he or she took a small problem that could have been fixed and made a big problem out of it. They, they just kept driving. You can't. Number one rule when your car is overheating, I even learned it the hard way by being married to a mechanic. Never, never keep driving and try to make it anywhere when your car is overheating. You will blow those head gaskets. Just stop. And for you guys who are covering up their gauge cluster with pictures, don't do that. The gauge cluster is there for a reason. The gauge cluster is what shows you the speedometer, the tachometer, the gas and the temperature hand. I had to tell a customer, I'm like, yes, your daughter is pretty and everything, but do not cover up the temperature hand. You need to see that always. Yeah, she had like family photos. In yeah, her she had her daughter up there. I was like, and she she listened, she moved it the last time I seen her. So that was good that she's actually listening to me. All right, so for the people who are new to the channel, what are you doing? I'm doing a block test. A block test is the proper way to test for blown head gaskets. Um, Blow a head gasket, the head gasket blow, it will send exhaust fumes into the cooling system. So basically that's what this is testing for. It's testing for exhaust fumes. Exhaust fumes are supposed to be going out your tailpipe, not being in the cooling system. So that's what we're going, that's what that's what I'm doing to right now. So normally this test takes about 10 minutes, so um, I'll probably cut it right here, wrap up this test, and I'll take you inside and show you the valve seats that these engines have such a bad problem with. And if you wanna learn how to do this test, guys, there is a video on the channel. I put the put it on the screen and put a link in the description. We've already had one YouTube customer successfully test his yeah. own. Shout, shout out, out, shout out shout to out Kevin. Out Tested his own head gasket. I already knew it was blown when it got here. So um, we'll let Alex do his thing. We'll be right back. good people as you can see it passed the block test it's still blue but like I was mentioning before this engine is very sensitive to heat um, this is one of those engines that you can't let overheat at all um, even though it passed the block test it still have head damage um, bringing back up the valve seats it's definitely dropped the valve seat um, I have a video of it running and smoking and carrying on when it does that and it's skipping like it is, definitely drop the valve seat and possibly knock the whole 
in the Pistons. So I'm going to take y'all inside and show you another Hemi I have broken down uh, for demonstration purposes. All right, good people. Inside with another project I got going on. There is, is a, will be a video about this yes, too. Yes, uh, but to briefly go overview of it, the lifter went out. Um, right here it's kind of scarred up i don't know if you can see that but when that happened it destroyed the cam like i said i'll talk more about this particular issue on these hemis on another video but for now back to the other issues the hemi hemis be having valve seats okay so here's your valve this round yeah round metal piece so when the valve is closed, which is this valve is in the closed position, it makes an airtight seal, somewhat of an airtight seal. And the way Chrysler accomplished that, they use a valve seat. So this is actually the part that I'm scraping. You can see the little crease. It's called a valve seat. And what happens um, when that engine, well, when the head is subjected to heat, that valve seat will drop and literally come out the head. And when that happens, you have a ring that then chunked up, most likely broken apart inside that combustion chamber, which will do a lot of damage to the cylinder head and the pistons most, most of the time. Then knock a hole in the pistons. And um, to give you a quick example of what the pistons look like, I don't know if you can climb over and yeah, see that but this is the top of a piston right here so it'll knock holes in that and just destroy the whole cylinder so that's what's going on with that other Hemi now what outside. do you think caused it? Heat Heat. Oh yes. overheating it? Yes uh huh even though it didn't blow oh. a hair gasket just taking it up to that temperature for a brief second is enough to drop a valve seat in these engines so um, what's going to have to happen for that to be fixed properly? I will have to tear down some more and stick a camera in the cylinder to see if that engine can be salvaged. I don't think it can. Most of the time it can't because it it, it gouges up a lot of stuff. Uh, anything can be saved, but is it worth it? In my opinion, no, it's not worth it. Best just go in with a whole new engine because you have to take that block out, take it to a machine shop, get it reworked, you know, cylinders bored out. It's just, it's just a lot. By the time you find somebody that can willing to do the work and the amount of money you're going to spend you might as well just get an engine if you hear a noise like that in my opinion <laughs> but anywho guys i hope you learned something from this video um any questions or concerns about the hemi engine hit me up in the comments i know i'm like the back of my hand alex car doctor out like always hit that like button see you guys on the next video